Hello everyone, Amy Love here to share with you my hand stitched crazy quilt tags. And I am using the canvas uh, blank tags from Canvas Core Brands, which are amazing. They come together already uh, sewn together and ready to alter. So I'm going to go ahead and punch holes in the tags and add the ribbon ties just so that I don't sew up over where that hole goes because I don't want to have to punch the hole into uh, my stitches and have things come undone. And as you can see, my table is covered in scraps because this is a great way to use up your scraps. So I'm digging into my scrap uh, fabric bin and I'm just laying pieces on trying to figure out how I want things and when I got things where I want them, I will go ahead and pin them down. And um, I am going to hand stitch these and I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and sew down all the seams that are in the middle. That way I can, when that's finished, I can trim around the outside before I finish the outside. Now, of course, you could um, do these on a machine and they'd be really cute, um, you know, or you can embroider on, embroider on these or you could do some slow stitching on these. I mean, they're the perfect size project for that. But I'm very content with my hand stitching and um, it makes me happy to do it. And even though my stitches are not uh, going to be uniform and they're certainly not spaced evenly, I think um, it's adorable with that handmade uh, touch that you can see. It makes it a little more shabby, which is what I'm going for anyway. And it does take a while to hand stitch it, but I just really enjoyed the process. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I did try this new camera angle, uh, hoping that you'd be able to see me um, stitching it uh, better. But uh, it's the first time I've used this angle, so as you can see, I don't always stay in frame. So apologies for that. But I, I pull everything taut because I just love the quilted look it gives when you do that. And now that um, I finished the inside, I'm going to go ahead now and trim off the excess fabric on the, around the edges. And now I'm just going to stitch all around the um, outside of this tag. It's so cute already. But it would be really cute if you wanted to use different colored thread or embroidery floss even. I mean, it would just be adorable. Or you could even glue some trim around the edge if you wanted to do it that way. And of course, the link to Canvas Core Brands is down below this video. You should go check out all the blanks they have to alter. It's amazing. So much fun. Now those ribbon tails do tend to get in my way right here, so I actually do end up just taking it out until I get the edges uh, finished and then just adding it back on. But it was nice to have it in place in the beginning just to know where the placement of my fabric was going to be. heart. Um, I've cut a heart out of fabric and then one out of felt and I'm just going to tack down the felt with some hot glue. The felt kind of gives it a little bit of a padded look which I love and now I'm just going to add that to my tag and I'm going to sew around all the edges of the heart so it'll just look like it's quilted on which will be adorable. And of course you could personalize this um, by using any shape you wanted. You could even do someone's initial. I mean, if you're, you know, if you're really handy, I guess you could do somebody's name, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that <laughs> on the scale. 
but hearts are my favorite, so hearts is what I chose. And I do end up covering the back of the tag with some fabric, but apologies, I did not film that part. Now that the heart's added, I'm just going to glue on a couple of embellishments, which of course you could hand sew these on if you wanted to, but gluing was going to work just fine for me. And now how adorable will these be attached to gifts or in journals? I mean, they're just so sweet. So thanks everybody for watching, and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think, and let me know if you give them a try. Thanks for watching everybody.